Hello again, Akko here with part two of the fusion reactor build video. So I'm up to 20 fusion coils. So I made a couple more since the last episode as I've produced more iridium. Uh, I want to start by saying how I get my iridium. Um, so we've got Mistcraft. In Mistcraft you can create Densaur welds. I've I've not created any. Um, I don't want to use Densaur welds. I find them a bit overpowered. You can get a lot of iridium that way. Um, that said, I've done something a little cheaty, I think. If in hindsight I wouldn't have done this, I made a lightning rod. And I had it on the roof of this building. It wasn't getting hit much. I created a permanent storm weld, which I built a mage tower in. But it's too dark and horrible. I got rid of the mage tower. You can, uh, you can see the plot down there where the mage tower was. This is my found, this is my found craft place, but I just didn't like the place. But because I had a permanent storm weld, I put a lightning rod in here. And I've just left it in here. Uh, this will be getting deleted in the next few days. Obviously, I've taken all the machinery back, but this weld will be getting deleted. As I said in the previous video, we're going to update to the new version of Mistcraft and start again. So that is a lightning rod in there. On the bottom there. You can see it's uh, all full at the minute. Producing UU matter quite slowly, but it's only getting 2,000 EU a tick. It's doing, it's doing all right. I should take that back with me. Um, I've also got quite a bit from the Platinum Bees, as I've shown in my, in my bee video. My Alvary video, I've got 18 Alvaries on the roof, all with Platinum Bees in them. Valuable Bees producing Platinum. That gets me Iridium Nuggets. And Sheldon I have been to the end a few times, gone hopping around on meteors. Meteorites. I've been hopping around the little sky islands in the end. Got some Sheldon I R, which helped me along, along along the way a bit. So that's where my iridium's been coming from. The the bees produce an alright amount. They produce a good amount of platinum as well. It depends how you process it of course. Um so last process some iridium. Got ten more nuggets. The nuggets are all coming from the bees. At the minute I've got it so that the nuggets get not that one. So the tiny dusts get put through this package here, made into dusts. And depending on what I need, I either make them into platinum ingots, I'll show you why what I use them for, or into iridium nuggets. Platinum ingots, I just feed it through the induction furnace. If I want nuggets, I feed it through the centrifuge. As you can see, there's some in there right now. So that was a filter there that only lets platinum dust in. I'll just move that platinum dust to this filter if I want, if I want to make platinum ingots instead. So that's uh, probably an half decent segue to show you what I use platinum for. Now, you're going to use a lot of energy flow circuits and not so much but quite a lot of data robs. Data robs use data control circuits, so if we look at the recipe for this, see there's two options, same with the data rob, uh, the energy flow circuits, I'll get back to them in a minute, but you've got an option that creates four with an iridium plate, or you've got an option that creates one using a platinum ingot. I use this option because I prefer using my iridium plates for other stuff. Once I've got a fusion reactor that might change as I can produce iridium, but for now. The uh, that said, the it can also produce um platinum in the fusion reactor, so we'll have to see. Anyway, this goes back to the first episode. This is why I was making I make so many of the chipsets in the assembly table downstairs. You see for this, you can use platinum ingot on this side, you can use um, a pulsating chipset, there you go. And for these green ones, you need a diamond gate or a data storage circuit. A data storage circuit, I use emeralds, so I don't use that, I use a diamond one, because I've got a lot of diamonds and not many emeralds. So there, two stacks of emeralds, and I've got 
28 stacks of diamonds, so diamonds obvious choice. Right, create these, you need these to make computer cubes and such like. If you look at the recipe of your actual fusion reactor, you need a computer cube in there. That takes two of those data rods, two of the energy flow circuits. I'll show you the recipe for that in a second. It also needs it also needs uh, super condensators, which require more energy flow circuits, superconductors, electronic energy orbs, which I'm also going to get to in a second. Right. Before I get totally sidetracked and carried away, rubies. When you first start a server. You'd be tempted to use rubies for weapons and such like. There's three types of red power gem. If you're going to use any, use the green one. The blue ones are very useful, the red ones are extremely useful. They're extremely useful because if you look at a ruby, look what it can go into. You can also make we weapons and tools, as I said. But you can also make it to dust. If you look at what dust goes into, you can see that nine dust, nine dust will make you a chrome dust. You need a lot of chrome dust, some aluminium, and you get you end up with a lot of aluminium. So for every nine rubies, you get one chrome dust. Now let's look how much chrome dust we need here. Twenty-four fusion coils. Each fusion coil takes four highly advanced machine blocks. Each how the advanced machine block takes four chrome ingots and four titanium ingots. Titanium comes from bauxite, so make sure you're quarrying a plains or forest biome. Chrome only comes from ruby dust. So you're going to need them, as many rubies as you can. So be, be saving them. The secondary way of getting ruby dust, it's not just from rubies, you can process redstone. If you look at the recipes for redstone and go to the industrial centrifuge, you'll see half a stack of redstone gets you through three ruby dust. Here in nine ruby dust gets you one chrome, so a stack and a half of redstone will get you one chrome. So it gets you some, but, but you're much better using your rubies first and then your redstone. I process quite a lot of redstone. I've got a hell of a lot, so just a matter of time. It's, well, a lot of this Greg Tech stuff, as long as you want to automate stuff, it's fine. If you sit around waiting for stuff, it gets real frustrating. If grab a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, eight stacks. If I um, run up here, I'll generally. Bang eight stacks at a time, and then I'll run through there, get me some more chrome. So yeah, ruby is very important. The blue sapphires, because these are actually called green sapphires, not emeralds. Blue sapphire is also useful because you're going to need a, a lot of lapatron crystals. See the recipe for a lapatron, lapatron crystal. Again, the chipsets come in handy here. Yeah? So we're making stacks of chipsets is easier than making stacks of circuits. As I said in the previous video, one gold, one redstone will get you a will get you a chipset there, so a lot cheaper. Sapphires, lapis, lapatron crystals. They don't stack, but you can bang them in a barrel and they'll stack in a barrel. The reason why you need a lot of them, quick example. If you look at the fusion reactor again. See, it takes lapatronic energy orbs, and if you look at the recipe for them, that's eight lapatron crystals around an iridium. So you're going to need, there's quite a lot of things in Greg Tech that use a lot of lapatron crystals. So that covers that. So I think that's about everything I wanted to cover, apart from what I finished last video with, which was ender pearls. Now, the reason why we need an ender pearl, an ender farm for ender pearls is because the last component I'm missing out of here, which is called an Iridium Neutron Reflector, that is made with 
eight thick neutron reflectors around an iridium plate. The thick neutron reflectors are made with four normal neutron reflectors around a beryllium cell, and that's the key here, the beryllium cell. If you look at the recipe for a beryllium cell, you'll see that there's two ways of getting it. One is 16 endopel dust, the other is 29 emerald dust. Now, I don't have a lot of emeralds, they're the, the NPC village trader emeralds, them ones. So you can't use, you can't use them ones, it has to be them ones. So I find it much easier to use, for beryllium cells, to use endopel dust. Now these, you get one dust per endopel, so that's 16, so that's a stack of endopels will get you one beryllium cell. So if you do, a, I don't want to do the maths here, but 24 fusion coils. Each fusion coil takes one of these. Each one of these takes eight of them. So that's 24 times eight. I get 24 times eight beryllium cells. And that's 16 endopels will get you one beryllium cell. So it's 24 times eight times 16 endopels is what you need to make a fusion reactor. So that's the reason why we need a lot of endopels. Um, I'll just show you this real quick. Process these. They're going to macerator. Out the macerator, I've got a dedicated electrolyzer for processing them. Throws brilliant cells in here. I've got one there from earlier. Oops, I've gone into the basement for some reason. See, they go in there. And that, what I didn't show you is neutron reflectors are made with coal dust, tin dust, and dense copper plates. Dense copper plates are quite easy to make. They're just eight copper in a compressor. I made a fresh stack there. So that's eight stacks of copper I've thrown in there to get 64 dense copper plates. So I'll make some more of them. Film inventory. Make some more there. So you see, these go down pretty quick. That's got me some more, so... How many more do I need still? I need four more in total, so I think I've got enough now, maybe. One, two, I need five more. Yep, I think I've got enough actually. To actually complete my fusion coils. So, the next video will probably be... I'll be placing these somewhere. So, I hope you join me for that one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Well, I'm back again. Um, my excellent production quality here. This is my, my first attempt at editing and adding something in, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I forgot to mention a couple of things. I just watched the video back. And um, I forgot to mention is energy flow circuits. There's two options for these, like the data orbs. Iridium plate around with certain things around tungsten etc or again platinum ingot pulsating chipset lapatron crystal this is another one of the uses for the lapatron crystal so we need a lot of and you use a lot of these if you look at the energy flow circuit we use four there you look at the super supercondensator we use another four there if you look at the superconductor which is just two recipes for this the recipe I prefer is that one Oops, no, that's the wrong one. So this one takes, to make three, you need six covers. And to make six covers, you need four iridium ingots. So I don't use that recipe. I use this recipe. This one takes one iridium plate and three more of the energy flow circuits. A bit of tungsten. So it, it works out cheaper. Cooling cells are pretty straightforward. The recipe for them is just helium cell with tin around it and if you look at helium cell 
that's really straightforward. You just grab a lot of endstone dust. Can be done very easily by going to the end with a wand of equal trade. Grab a, grab a few stacks of dirt. Jump into the end. You see I've been here before. Set the equal trade, swap for debt, and then one click of the right button there, you just got me nearly two and a half stacks of ends done. So that's easy to get. My uh, frame rate's getting hammered a bit here. So, yeah, that's so. So about the superconductors. So that's the two things I wanted to cover in this extra little bit. Energy flow circuits, superconductors. You need a lot of these. You need them for gravity suits and stuff as well, I believe. So I've not. I've started making a gravity suit. Uh, that's for the cooling cars. Um, cooling cars going there. I think that makes the graviton engines. I think I'm making there. I believe, if I remember rightly. Right, it's been a. I got sidetracked. I thought I'd do the. I thought I'd do this first. So, anyway, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.